messy night out there, so Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein fills us in. Yeah, Sharon, I think we're lucky that it's a holiday week because there's not as much uh, traffic out there. A lot of people still off, and you combine that with the fact that it's a messy night, probably a good evening just to stay inside. So scattered showers continue to fall, not as strong or as heavy as they were earlier. A lot of that has now pushed off to the east, but there's still a little more to come, and there are another round of heavy showers pushing into parts of the sand hills. So this is what the radar looks like right now. Let's kind of fast forward. This is what we expect it to look like tonight by 9 o'clock so there will be another round of heavy downpours coming through later tonight and then we will start to dry out and it's pretty interesting so I've taken off the radar just look at all the flood related watches and warnings out right now so rain has been a huge issue as the flood watch continues overnight and as we look at the big picture you can see showers down in South Carolina they've still got to move over us before we can even think about letting this rain up and dry out. So here's what we've got going throughout the overnight hours. We're of course going to keep the clouds around. The better rain chances are through tonight up until midnight. Then we get into the early morning hours of Thursday, New Year's Eve, and we're going to lower the rain chances, but not completely dried out. One thing that's not changing, look at our temperatures. We're in the 60s now. That's where we're going to be stuck throughout the overnight hours and really through most of tomorrow as well. So all week long, we've been waiting on this frontal system to come through. Well, it's kind of stuck now to our west and riding along that frontal system, areas of low pressure, lots of instability, lots of moisture, and we're seeing it all in the form of rain. This is going to be the pattern through tomorrow. That's when this system will finally move through, and that's when we'll cool off and dry out starting Friday, the first day of the new year. So literally a, a new start to the new year with the forecast and on the calendar. So let's pick up the weather map tomorrow morning. Let's talk about the last day of the year. 6 a.m., a few light scattered showers along with the clouds. By 9 a.m., you can see a few heavy downpours possibly developing as a lot of the rain tomorrow, including through lunchtime, is going to be triangle south and east. It'll be drier the farther north and west you go. There you can see scattered showers as the front moves through in the afternoon, and then we really start to dry out, maybe even get a few breaks in the clouds for the evening commute home if you do have to work. And then by the stroke of midnight, as we welcome in the new year, you can see we're dry with just a few clouds sticking around. Temperatures, though, are going to be cooling off. I'll show you more on that in just a second. So the story again tomorrow is going to be the rain, not a big flooding concern like we had today. The severe storm's not a concern. The heavy downpours, not as many. And temperatures will be in the 60s, 64 here in Raleigh, all the way up to 68 in Fayetteville. And most of those rain chances you see will be morning and early afternoon. Then we transition into the late evening hours. That rain will have moved out. It's going to be a little colder than what we've seen the last few days. 8 o'clock, we go from 54 all the way down to about 49 as we count down to the new year. But I think the most important thing, it will be dry, just a little on the chilly side. And speaking of chilly, from a high of 64 tomorrow, we drop it to 54 on Friday and a high of 50 on Saturday. That's chilly, right? How about cold weather starting Saturday morning and lasting through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday morning and beyond. We've got freezing temperatures and that'll come into play as we all head back to work and school on Monday. So your three degree guarantee high tomorrow, 64. We'll do it with some rain today. Believe it or not, we made it up to 67. We had forecast 69, so we're within our three degrees. So along with our friends at Allen Kelly Heating and Air, another $100 for save. Nationalsave.org is how you can learn more about them. Say you are a student at a school and you do not yet have save. They are at elementary, middle, mm -hmm. and high schools, of course, uh, Today's uh, kids got some issues and some yes. problems, and students at these schools actually help out. Help it's them not out. adults. Uh, the students do all the yeah, work. Yeah, they're being great role models right from their peers. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, thank you, Wes. We're coming